Greetings, Carpentry Con. My name is Trevor Keller, and I'm presenting this introduction to High Performance Computing Carpentry, a community effort in the carpentry's tradition, but not yet under the official umbrella. So what is high performance computing? Whether your computer has one account or many, when your hands are on the keyboard and mouse, you are in control of the machine. It's easy to install new software, upgrade or remove existing programs, and even swap hardware in or out to suit your needs. When you launch a program, it starts immediately. The output is displayed on screen, often with an option to save your work. If a program is slow, you can halt competing programs to try making it faster. While your computer may have high performance components, high performance computing usually refers to clusters of computers. Clusters are inherently shared resources. Each computer runs many programs at once on behalf of several different users, and large programs are distributed across several computers to break up the load. From your computer, you access a cluster over the internet through a gateway computer. Rather than launching your program directly, you must request an allocation of processors, memory, and time. A scheduler will determine whether one or several computers can satisfy your request, and the soonest time slot when the resources are expected to become available. If nobody else is using those computers, your program will launch immediately. Otherwise, it enters a queue and will launch as soon as the computers have finished running other users' jobs. So let's talk about HPC Carpentry. Over the decades, the cost of building a high-performance computing cluster has fallen. They are, after all, built from regular computer hardware. Most academic and research institutions have at least one cluster with access readily granted to research groups and students. Training materials, documentation, and expert knowledge have also grown, but access to this knowledge has not scaled nearly as well as the hardware. The HPC Carpentry community grew as administrators and practitioners sought to guide users through this gap and develop a training program that could be reused by others. The Carpentry's approach to hands-on instruction builds muscle memory and leaves learners with high quality code after the workshop is finished. Lessons from established Carpentry's curricula in related domains provide an excellent foundation for us to build on. The HPC Carpentry community was created by Peter Steinbach in 2016 with a lot of early contributions from people at Compute Canada. We have met online twice a month since summer of 2019 to coordinate lesson development efforts and grow the community with strong representation from around the globe. Our vision is to be the leading inclusive community teaching data and coding skills for HPC resources. Our mission is to lower the barrier to entry to high performance computing operations for a wide range of users so that more people can benefit from the increasing availability of increasingly sophisticated computer systems. Our strategy to achieve this goal is to develop and aggregate educational resources and work closely with like-minded communities. Our steering committee seats six members elected in the spring of each year following an asynchronous GitHub-based democratic process. The geographic diversity of the committee reflects the global nature of our efforts. Most interactions with the cluster are made through the command line, so the lesson on Unix shell from Software Carpentries is a prerequisite for all our lessons. In fact, we recommend teaching it as the first lesson in an HPC Carpentry workshop for novice users. With a strong foundation on the command line, learners can then connect to their cluster, find out how many computers there are and whether any are available, write and submit their first job scripts, then retrieve output data when their program finishes. Following these fundamental interactions, these HPC users can learn how to manage dependencies between data generation and analysis on the cluster, write an automated workflow script, and use it to learn how much performance a program gains for each additional processor they throw at it. Instructors can offer follow-up lessons or workshops to cover topics in parallel programming and performance optimization. We currently have lessons using the Python and Chapel programming languages, as well as the popular molecular dynamics software, LAMPS. As we develop more advanced lessons, it will become easier to stack these modules together to customize a workshop to meet your learners exactly where their skills and interests intersect. Thank you for your interest in HPC Carpentry. Please join our community on GitHub or the Carpentry Slack channel, or both. We are actively developing the lesson on workflows and would love to have your help. That's all for now.
Enjoy the rest of CarpentryCon.